Hello there and greetings to you this month from my home in rural Oxfordshire. I live just a few miles away from Bicester and its famous shopping village. And if you don't know about Bicester village, Google it. It is apparently the second most visited attraction for Chinese tourists after Buckingham Palace. At this time of year, every weekend sees all our roads jam-packed with shoppers and visitors and frankly it's usually more sensible to stay at home and watch the telly than venture out to join the crawling traffic. Anyway, here I am at home just on the very edge of the Cotswolds in a village that could quite easily be used for an episode of Inspector Morse, Lewis or Midsummer Murders. And when I was thinking about what I was going to say today, it was the concept of home that got me cogitating, as Lloyd Grossman would have said. Oh, and if you're too young to know about Lloyd Grossman, well, you could Google him as well whilst you're looking for Bister. I hope you've had the chance to watch our winter campaign on TV over the last few weeks. Winter's a time for comfort, and warmth for bundled up blankets, cosy evenings and time spent together. Whilst many of us are feeling the bite of the cost of living crisis this year, more owners than ever are no longer able to afford to care for their cats. You'll know, of course, that that means our waiting list is longer than ever. But our centres and branches offer somewhere that feels like home for as long as our cats need it. And that's why we're asking the public for their help. And for the first time, we're asking not just for money, vital though that is, but for their time and their talent as well, perhaps as a fosterer. And as a result of this campaign, we've seen a genuine spike in volunteering inquiries, which is very, very heartening. And of course, we've also seen donations towards food, blankets and care, which are going a long way towards helping cats feel at home home during this festive season and beyond. Feels like home. <laughs> it's going to sound corny, I know it is, but after just a very few short and packed weeks, that's how I feel at Cats Protection. Your email messages, your tweets, your Facebook posts, you've made me feel so welcome. Thank you. You've taken time to tell me what you love about CP and what you think I'll love too. You've shared your passion for the work that we do in all its facets. You've got me fired up and excited about all the things we'll be able to do together in the future. And you've told me what you'd like to see more of as well, particularly working together. More cooperation between branches, more joined up thinking, more understanding of each other's points of view, more trust, more focus, more impact. We're a movement of 10,000 and more people, all for cats. We are volunteers, we're staff, we're supporters, we're champions, we are ambassadors. We are one charity and we can and do achieve so much. We help people to see the world through cat's eyes and we'll do that best if we all work to see our CP world through each other's eyes and appreciate each other's opportunities and challenges. It's been brilliant to meet you online and in person over the last couple of weeks. I've spent time with Emily and team at my local branch in Cherwell. I've visited some of our adoption centres. Thanks so much, Karen, Susie, Danielle and your teams at Newbury, Hazelmere and the National Cat Centre. And yes, I will be getting around the four nations of the UK in the new year and beyond, visiting branches, shops, centres, colleagues in the field and at the National Cat Centre and getting a better understanding of the very complex opportunities we face. I've already learnt about some of these from members of Connect, from many of you who have spoken or written to me, and at my first trustees meeting, where we were able to scan the horizon for the next few years. Whilst I'm at it, thanks also for all the messages of welcome to Blenheim. I shot this bit of video of him this morning, so you'll see that he is completely unfazed by the possibility of becoming CP's newest poster boy. So, 
it really does feel like home. And as we enter the festive season and thoughts head towards kith, kin and, forgive the inevitable pun, in our case, kitties, can I just say thanks again for everything that you're doing and wish you a very, very happy Christmas, if that's what you celebrate, and a hopeful and productive New Year. Now, let me go and see if I can find a certain tuxedo mog and put some Christmas music on the spark speakers.